Good evening, good evening, and welcome to our weekly travel training. My name is Marcia Lash. Uh, one second, I'm sorry. I think I just lost connection here for a second. I hope I didn't lose connection. Are you guys able to hear me? I'm going to start the recording. I'm going to start the training over. Good evening and welcome to our weekly travel training. This is at the How To's in Booking Travel for independent travel agents uh, who are with IntelliTravel. Tonight, we're going to discuss briefly IntelliTravel University because I know that there are some new agents who are interested in having a quick back office crash course, so I'm going to do that. But I really want to focus on the tools for success and building your travel business and qualifying your clients. Because these are the tools that will help us to increase our commissions, our revenues, right? So we want to know certain things that will help us to improve that side of our business. So that's what we're going to focus on this evening. So the first thing that we always suggest to you when you get started is focus on the education. Um, IntelliTravel has collaborated with, uh, of course, um, all the suppliers, that, all the preferred suppliers, and so they have a limited amount of education for us to access. Uh, it just takes us to access it, so we highly recommend that you focus on the education when you first get started so that you can be well-versed in your travel business, okay? The world is our classroom. So IntelliTravel has Dream Makers, Vacation Builders, and Travel Genius. To become a dream maker, you will have to attend five IntelliTravel webinars and attend one dream maker event in order to complete to, to become a dream maker. In order to become a vacation builder, you will have to complete the IntelliTravel uh, University Online Academy, attend one industry event, which could be a CLIA event, an ensemble annual convention, uh, IntelliTravel's ITQ event is annually a trade or an IntelliTravel familiarization trip, which means there's a supplier, but it's hosted, being hosted by IntelliTravel. Okay, and all qualified events must be multiple days and multiple suppliers. And cruise and land um, is being represented. And that those are the events that would be considered, uh, will qualify you to become a vacation builder. Also, Travel Genius which once you've attended five webinars and attended Dream Makers and you've completed the online academy and you've attended one of the events, you have to complete five CLIA courses of your choice and you're earning $5,000 in commission paid within a 12-month basis. Now you're on to travel. And then, of course, there's also Intel and Travel. Uh, ambassador. So once you've completed Dream Makers, Vacation Builders, and you've completed your CLIA courses, and you've become a travel genius, uh, you will have access to the um, Ambassador's Portal. And of course, as you can see here, once you've completed um, each one of those, once you qualify, yours will light up like mine did here. Yours will light up green. Um, we can't, no one can control that but your activity and your numbers. So. Uh, once they're all lit up green, then you know you're qualified and you can go into the uh, access the ambassador's program, portal and apply to become an ambassador if you choose to. And if you need some more information, I'll be happy to assist you with any questions that you may have when it comes to uh, becoming an ambassador. Uh, and so with online, with IntelliTravel University, it's the same thing. On each side, you will see as you complete each section, it will become green, it will light up green, and that will let you know that you've come to the section until you do the final exam. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like, how, how it works, and so that you guys can get on. It's very simple. You do not have to complete IntelliTravel University in order to book travel. You can start booking travel immediately uh, as you become a business owner. You can immediately start booking travel. Okay? And then also there are um, partner education and supplier courses as well. Affiliate organization, affiliated organization, supplier courses, special interest courses, and destination specialist courses that you can complete. And Teletravel takes pride in the platform of education that's available to all, this, all the agents. So you find your niche in travel with any of these. You can do uh, a destination specialist course, one or two. There are no extra costs to you. So I would say, guys, dive right in, educate yourself, become informed, so that you can educate your clients as well. 
some of the special um, interest courses are the Travel Institute, Golf Specialist, Villa Specialist, Wellbeing Cruise Specialist, uh, Romance Specialist, Luxury Travel, which is really, really hot right now. So, you know, this is some, just a few of the special interest courses in our back office. Uh, the affiliated courses are CLIA, NACSA, Travel Agents University, uh, uh, travel Professional Colors, uh, color, Cruise and Travel University, National Trade Show. These are all the different affiliated organizations in our back office that you can choose to uh, collab with. Now, the affiliate organizations, I must tell you that some of them may ask for, some of the courses may cost. So uh, just be mindful of the ones that you apply for. Pay attention to the ones that you apply for. And of course, the Destination Specialist courses, all of these are completely free of charge to apply for, to complete them. You just go on into your back office and get started on each of them. I'm pretty much specialized in all of these already because, you know, you just want to take advantage of the access and the education that you have, right? Suppliers courses as well. These majority of the agents should complete all of, all of the supply courses. You, you should, especially if we're booking with them, we should definitely complete the courses so that we become educated then we, once we're educated on the courses, guys, we are able to better sell it. So if you are one, an agent who are, you're having issues with um, sales, you're not getting as many commissions, you're not having as many people um, contact you for bookings, or you are not uh, prospecting your travel business and uh, you know, letting people know that you're a travel agent and you do have packages and you have great suppliers that you can choose from to book their packages, uh, that's more likely because you're not diving into the education and you are not understanding the product, you're not able to better sell the product. This is why a lot of sales companies, they have a lot of sales seminars and they're always having information and, and um, training to familiarize their sales agent with their product. It's the same thing here except we are entrepreneurs, um, there's no one standing over us to tell us to complete these courses. But we do know that if we want to become successful in our travel business, we must complete the educational courses. That's the only way we'll become better familiar with the product. And also, guys, a lot of suppliers, if you don't complete their courses, you're not going to be invited on the familiarization trips, which are major because to really, really sell those products, you need to actually be there to experience it. So uh, be mindful of that as well. And, of course, um, here are some more uh, courses that you can complete and be certified in. And then, of course, there's the tools for success, guys. This is the suppliers, uh, login, and I kind of shrunk it a little because I don't want the information, the sensitive information on there revealed to everyone. Um, but this is the suppliers list. Uh, there are some shared logins on the top that I highly recommend that you do not ever, under no circumstances, change or alter because it's a community login, we all use it. As you're going, as you're logging in, other agents are simultaneously logging in as well. So don't tamper with it. Once you've um, completed a booking with that, those particular suppliers, you will have your own um, account. So are you, you'll, you'll be in the system where you'll be able to access your account. So, um, and if you have any questions, you contact customer service at intellitravel.com. And in order to find this, if you go on your dashboard, and you scroll down right below where the top agents of the month are, you'll see three red boxes. The first red box will give you the suppliers list. And there you can go ahead and start registering with all the suppliers um, so that you can have access. So for new agents, we're going to hang out right here for a little bit. I just wanted to go through and show you. This is pretty much the, the summary of your back office. Um, your dashboard, oh, I'll show you some more on the other page, but this is where we book travel. This tab right here, you're able to book hotels, you're able to book flights, you're able to book cars, cruises, vacation rental, uh, pack, vacation packages, activities, travel insurance, you have access to our VIP partner exclusive, and you have access to our preferred partners. You can register your bookings and you can also access hot deals. So the book travel tab is a tab that you're going to find yourself in more often than the other tab. It's important to access the other tab too, especially the education tab. But most importantly, in order to make your money, this is where you, this is where your products are in the book travel tab. So I would recommend that every one of you become very familiar with your book travel tab. Uh, become familiar with your packages. 
A lot of you do not know this tab actually exists. A lot of you contact me all the time. Who would you recommend that I use for this supply? Uh, my clients want to go here. My clients want to go there. And I mean, I'm familiar with it, but a year or two ago when some of you contacted me and you didn't know, and I was, I didn't know off the top of my head, I went right here. And then I answered your question. I went into the vacation package tab. I read all of the subheadings for each supplier. They give us a breakdown, um, describing the products that they have and what regions they serve, service, um, but that's what I did. And then I responded to you guys and answered your question. So you guys can do that as well. You can go to the um, practice section and each supplier there will give you an idea of what they do, what, you know, what region they service and what services you can, your clients can benefit from them, okay? So become familiar with that, become familiar with the activities, and I'll go through those in a little bit, and vacation rentals as well. But this is basically where you book most of your travel, well, all of your travel with the Detail Travel. And also, when you book air and hotel in your back office, you don't have to register your booking. I still recommend you register it, especially if you go into your commissions report and you don't see it, register your booking. However, you um, your commissions are already built into these bookings, so you do not have to register them to get paid. But like I said, Computers sometimes make errors, so I would recommend if you do not see it in your in your in your commissions report, go ahead and register the booking again. I would rather have two bookings registered than none at all. Okay. And of course, I mentioned the preferred partners tab. This is a very important tool, guys. I highly recommend it that everyone, um, you know, you can get your own printout, you can get your own copy from IntelliTravel. You can have them send it to you. Uh, I believe you pay $4.99 for the shipping and handling, but it's totally free. Uh, but this book is a pretty important book because a lot of times when you contact me again, asking me questions and suggestions, you can, if you have this book handy, you can go into it, the table of contents area, which I'm going to show you right now. The table of contents area will have um, all of the different suppliers that you can choose from. Uh, let me go back. Apple Vacation, Blue Sky Tours, Club Med, Marriott, uh, and then once you go into, let's say we selected number 18, Marriott International, it'll give you some information about Marriott, it'll give you their portfolio, and their, co their collection in their portfolio, so that you can know all of their brands and what they service, and then of course the next page will give you uh, the, the, the booking information, what percentage commissions they book, the, the, the business development manager's information, Excuse me, the uh, reservations information. Okay, all of that information is in this little book, guys. So take some time to go through it. It's, it's in a PDF format in your back office. Um, it's uh, also located in your book travel tab right here, preferred partners. Or if you go all the way down to the bottom of your screen, you can also find it in the preferred partners in the gray area under the book travel tab. So I would recommend that you guys definitely check. Go in there, take a look at it, familiarize yourself with your product, guys. We have access to so much. We can talk, we can have a conversation with our clients uh, while having this book in our hands, especially if they're talking about a specific product. If they're talking about Carnival Cruise Lines or something, there's some information here that you can read up. Maybe your clients are not aware of it, but familiarize yourself with, with your product so that you can better sell it. And then your, your, your commissions will increase a little bit. The Travel Agent Manual. This is the seventh edition, guys. Uh, Intel Travel has spent a lot of time and money and effort in collaborations, putting information together, having it accessible to us. So I highly recommend that you guys utilize it, okay? I call this the Travel Agent Bible. I, I don't think that any one of us should go anywhere without it because there's so much information in there, especially these new travel agents. Um, and in any given moment, you can ask, you ask a question and you may not know how to answer it. But if you have your travel agent manual with you, then you won't feel so stuck because then you'll have some guidance here with your travel agent manual. So, uh, there's a table of contents, again, where you can definitely break down, go directly to the topic that you're focused on. If you're focusing on billing or commissions or whatever you're focused on, you can definitely tap into it, okay? Here it is right here. You how much commissions do I receive? You can go to page 16. Um, there's sales tools, travel agents. 
marketing, all of these things, all of these questions that you may have, you may want to know, learn about information. Who is our consortium? <clears throat> you can use your travel agent manual to access so much information, guys. And for you new know, agents, like I said before, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys print it out uh, or save it to your desktop and keep it there so that you can have um, access to it at any given moment. Okay? And there are some important issues for new agents as well uh, that's very important. I would highly recommend you guys take time to go in there. I try to make it as big as possible to see if we can read it, but it's not as legible. So I would recommend you go in there and read it. Another tool to success, guys, is the Intel Travel Tutorial Library. This library is flooded with videos of all sorts that you guys can take some time. You can browse by categories or you can browse by suppliers. Um, let's say that you're a new agent and you're super excited. You just got your business and you're like on Facebook, I'm a new travel agent. Please support my business. Contact me for pricing and I would love to be able to put you, you know, send you guys on an awesome vacation or whatever. And then you get a message in your inbox saying, and you just signed up like today, and you get a message in your inbox saying, hey, do you venture travel? And you're like frozen, like, I venture travel. What is that? I just got started, right? Go to your Intel Travel Tutorial Library and go to Adventure Travel in Browse by Category, which will be right here, and click on Adventure Travel. Watch the videos about two or three times, guys, and then respond. Do not respond right away. You're going to be excited and you're going to be just so happy because you've got your customer. And educate yourself before you respond to your customer so that you can educate them because maybe they're an avid traveler. And here you come as a professional in travel travel agent and you just got started and you didn't take the time to educate yourself and you answer the question totally incorrectly and lose your client. So it's best to watch the video, uh, have a better understanding all about adventure travel and then go back to them and say, yes, I most certainly do. I am a cert I'm certified in adventure travel or I'm an adventure travel specialist because you completed the courses and you got your little certificate and you can even send it to them and show them if you want to, but you can let them know that you're a certified adventure specialist and you will be happy to create an adventure of their life for them. And then you can answer the questions because now you're knowledgeable, right? So it's very important that you guys take some time to go in there. Even if you're not a new agent and you've never went into, you never took the time to go into the tutorial, I highly recommend that you guys go take some time over the weekend. Time, take some time to go in there and look around, and maybe this will help you also find a niche. Because travel is so amazing, guys, that you may watch a few videos and say, you know what, this is it. This is it. This is what I want to do. And you get all excited, and now it just brought life to your business. Now you're allocating all these flyers because you have all these ideas, and you're attracting all these people, and all of a sudden now your revenue, your, your revenue is going through. So this is what happens when we educate ourselves, okay? And then, of course, the online marketing materials in our back office. We have the client newsletter, email marketing, travel incentive center, and an Intel travel post office. I'm going to go through the uh, Intel in incentive center for you guys and briefly the email marketing. The client newsletter, guys, I highly recommend you do not sell on your client newsletter. If you go into your back office, there's a sample letter back there. Take the time to look at it. Uh, but don't sell to your clients because the hot deals are already attached to your client newsletter. So if you're selling in the words, then that's going to be oversell and overkill. You're going to lose your clients. So let them search the hot deals, but let them learn something about you. Share something a little personal about yourself so that your clients can know who they're trusting with their vacations. Besides, they're giving us their major credit cards. They're giving us their passports, all of their details, their children's birthdays, their anniversaries. I mean, we will know our clients inside out. The least that we can do is share something back with our clients. And then have it be a weekly newsletter or a monthly newsletter or maybe by month, you know, every other month. However you choose to um, update your clients and notify them of your travel business. Uh, but send those out. It's, again, don't sell travel in your email, your client newsletter. Share a recipe, share a motivational message, an inspirational message, um, share uh, some weather information or something that's in the world that everyone will be enlightened about. 
but share something outside of selling travel, okay? And so the marketing and sales tool, we also have, especially for new agents, we have um, a media, uh, social media content library where you can download, these are headers, guys. You can download them to your desktop and you can upload them to your social media site uh, to let people know that you are a travel agent and you have a travel business and they can get away, you know, they can allow you to help them get away. But this will also attract new people to your business and they'll ask you questions, they'll be knowledgeable because you still have the education, so now you're knowledgeable and you're confident to speak with your clients and get those sales and ask for those sales. Uh, Ensemble, this is in, in, uh, in Travel Post Office, guys. Ensemble target, targeted direct mail marketing. Very simple. 50 customers, name, email address, physical address, telephone number. There's something else I'm missing. Uh, but you send it, and there's, a, there's an Excel spreadsheet in the back office, in your IntelliTravel back office, that you can also download. Uh, to your desktop, complete them with all your clients' information, send them to customer service at IntelliTravel.com, and they will forward it on to um, Ensemble. Ensemble will now send your clients some awesome, awesome, let me tell you something. You want to be able to, you would be a proud agent to know that your clients are receiving information like this from you with your information on there, okay? These are the things that your clients will receive, okay? Caribbean, Hawaii, Panama Canal. These are soak up the sun. This is from Princess Cruises, okay? These are some of the things that they will receive from Ensemble. He says Ensemble right there. Come from Ensemble. Unforgettable SK. Of course, your IntelliTravel um, business name will be right there on the top. And you can, um, and this, when they open it up, they have all of this that they can take a look at and read. But you want your clients to get these guys. So go ahead and fill that out. Dominican Republic, Mexico, Caribbean, South America. I mean, these are awesome, awesome information. And then your information will be down below where your, your clients can contact you and get the booking. These are the tools we have. There's no extra cost for it, guys. Just utilize them. Okay, to increase your commission. This will increase your commission. Trust me. And of course, I'm um, with our consortium, consortia, consortia, consortium. And um, to find them, you go into the book travel tab, scroll down to VIP partner exclusive, and you will see ensemble there. This is pretty much what ensemble look like. I highly recommend that if you guys are considering doing packages for your clients, go to ensemble. Go to the search bar right here, um, in this search area right here where this is locking it. This is this blue line right here is your search field. You type in, you can select from your cruises, hotel offers, or suppliers. But you can type in your client's information in there and see what comes up. It will give you an idea of what supplier service, you know, what service that type of vacation that you put in there. Um, but then also you have to pay attention to these three icons because the, the flowery icon will um, indicate that this is a sailing from ensemble to first supplier. The star icon indicates that the sailing has an ensemble exclusive offer, like some onboard credits. Um, the third icon, which looks like a ship, will indicate um, that the sailing has an ensemble hosted cruise, which means that there is a host on the ship. And because you, your client is an ensemble preferred member, because you're an ensemble um, affiliated agent, your clients are now entitled to the ensemble hosted crew that is on that itinerary. So you want to make sure that you check out these uh, ensemble, these contact the suppliers. We don't book in ensemble. We just look for the better deal and add to what we already have to enhance the package, to make to look like the super travel agent that you are. Because not only are you sending your clients, giving them air, hotel, and transportation, now you're giving them some more stuff that they didn't ask for. You're just getting all this extra stuff because we have connections with Ensemble. Uh, IntelliTravel is affiliated with Ensemble. Now you have access to all these additional perks to um, offer to your clients, right? So you want to use uh, Ensemble, guys. Before you go to the supplier, check with Ensemble. 
how are you marketing your business? They have a great marketing tool and ensemble, and it's, it's for no extra cost. Free marketing program. So, uh, you know, there should be no travel agent within the Intel Travel Organization saying that, uh, Intel Travel Host Agency Company saying that they don't have access to marketing because we have over $100,000 in marketing tools accessible to you. So I highly recommend that you guys take some time to utilize them, guys. This is top of the line. Really awesome. Let me show you some of them here. This is from Ensemble, of course. I showed you guys the vacation therapy. No, I showed you guys Unforgettable Escapes. Now that's the vacation therapy. Indescribable, Unforgettable. These are all from Ensemble, guys. Okay? Of course, I want to see what my clients are getting, right? So I'm going to definitely put my name in there. But these are all the different things that we can receive. And, you know, we have to get on the ball. So there should be no agent complaining. Oops, I just dropped it. No agent complaining about not having access to marketing or don't have any marketing uh, tools to market their business. We should all be marketing our business on a daily or weekly basis to increase our commission, okay? Travel incentive, another tool that we can use to increase our commission because uh, we have Let's see here. There's a three-day, two-night getaway. Well, first of all, let me just share. You have, when you first go in, you want to learn, and then you want to go ahead and check the value, and then you want to buy. So you want to learn about all the different products, right? We have your getaway, a $500 Grand Air vacation, $75 Grand Air, $25 gift card, uh, three-day, two-night getaway, and also golf and spa. And look at the prices that they cost, guys. $1.75 for a low cost, high perceived value. Incredible. Three days, two nights get away. One dollar and seven cents. Is that what I Yes. One dollar and seven five cents. Okay? That we can purchase. We can purchase ten or twenty of those. Or forty or fifty of them. And share them out at our, our travel party. You have a travel party, you're launching your business, you get a couple of three days to night getaways, you get some of the um, custom information forms. You invite your guests, you let them know that the person that brings the most guests with them will be um, in line to receive a three day to night getaway or offer it to them because they brought three or four guests and all of their guests fill out the customer profile form. So now you have everyone's information and you can definitely share your business with them, share your hot deals with them, share your promotional uh, deals that you have with the suppliers with them. Okay, this is a way for you to gain stores, right? You can use your three day to night getaway. Or you can use the uh, golf, golf and spa gift card. I, those are the ones that I would highly recommend you use, or the $25 gift rebate. Okay? So this is a great tool to use. Also, if you have a group going out, uh, a great way to um, get the activity amongst the group. If you have, let's say they're paying monthly on their cruise or their vacation package, you know, you can have each month, you can create a comp competition. I did that. With my, with my last group cruise that I had to Cuba, I'll create a competition amongst the group where the first person that pays off their, their cabin for the month of October will receive a three-day to night getaway. And you'll be surprised to see how many people will, and you'll get a lot of people because they all want it. So what happens is you get the mission accomplished, you get a, most people to complete their, uh, pay, make their payments in October as opposed to waiting till final payment in November. And then now one of them get a three-day, two-night getaway, which is this going to make them even more excited and they're going to want to book with you again. And you only paid $1.75 for them. And that crew, we already know you're going to get commissions of 100 and something dollars off the top. So it's worth it, okay? It's a great way, great tool to use, uh, great referrals. When I first started my business, this is how I increased my clientele. I told my friends and family, my sisters, my dad, I told them all that uh, if they can refer a business to me, clients to me, and three people book with me, I will give them a three-day, two-night getaway. My sister earned a three-day, two-night getaway. My dad earned a three-day, two-night getaway because they sent people to me and people actually book. So um, these are great tools to use to create, you know, to earn more commissions because now you'll be able to get more clientele because you're offering something. It's a really great for a uh, travel party though, so I suggest you guys order them. So there are three different three forms that Intel Travel offers to us. The customer profile form, which I just mentioned recently, uh, having your clients 
fill them out when you have a travel party so that you can have information on them. You'll know their travel preferences, their air preferences, their cruise preferences, vacation land packages, car rental preferences. You'll know your clients. You'll understand them when they're ready to book with you. You'll know that they you can't book up a connecting flight for them. They want nonstop. And you can't book any other airlines but Delta, and you can't use any other cruise lines for Norwegian. You'll know them because you have that form completed. The next form is, actually, I think I have each one of them individually booking that no account. The next form is the uh, credit card authorization form, guys. And I, I talked about this a little bit through the, the, the presentation, so we're going to go further in. And then, of course, the travel in short form. So I want to talk to you guys. I know that I have a slide on there that uh, mentions it. It's just probably out of place right now. Uh, the, next act, the next thing that we have that will help you increase your, your commissions, guys, is the activity. A lot of you are sleeping on these activities because your clients, even if your clients are contacting you and they only want air or they only want a hotel, sell the activities. Where are you going, Susan? Tell them where are you going. She, Susan wants you to book a hotel for her. She's calling you like, hey, Marcia, I'd love to stay in Orlando for a weekend and just get away. And so what do you want to do, Susan, when you get to Orlando? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm asking questions and I'm listening to her because I want her to tell me every single detail of all the things that she would like to experience in Orlando for the weekend. And I'm going to go into my activity tab and I'm going to find all the areas and all the activities in Orlando this weekend that Susan can participate with. And I'm going to send her an email with all of these suggestions that I highly recommend she experience. And she's going to choose one or two or three or probably all of them because I recommended them. And there goes the commission. Just like that. So just because they're purchasing air or just a hotel does not mean that you cannot sell them activities. Does not mean that you cannot sell them travel insurance and get a 20% commission on there. Just ways of increasing your commission, guys. That's how we have to think. Every component of travel, there's a commission tied into it. So why not benefit from it? Just because your clients want one component of travel doesn't mean they have to leave you with one. They can come for one, but they can leave with several more because you're such an excellent travel agent. You listen to your clients and you want to make this experience the most memorable for them, so you're going to listen to them and then you're going to offer suggestions and recommendations, right? And that's another way of increasing your commission. So with the activities, it's very simple. You go in there, you put in Orlando for Susan, and you put in uh, the, the region, which is going to be, well, you put in the destination, it's going to be Florida or wherever she's going, Universal, I don't know where she's going, but you're going to put Florida, you don't have to put all of them in, you can put in uh, the city, which is going to be Orlando, and the date that she's traveling, and then all of them are going to come up, you get to select them and send her an email, you can see ratings on them if you want to read up about, about them before you send her information, then you can go there and read up on them give us some input, give us some feedback on the customer, from previous um, customers, um, make her feel comfortable, and then sell it to her. It's, it's a buy. The next one is vacation rentals, which is our newest feature, which I think is even more amazing because now we can definitely take commissions on vacation rentals. And a lot of people I'm finding uh, would rather travel um, using vacation rentals as opposed to traditional hotels. So now we have thousands and thousands of vacation rentals access to all these vacation rentals that we can provide for our clients. And it's in our booking engine, of course, in the book travel tab I shared with you guys a little while ago. So this is what the um, active, the, the uh, vacation rental tab will look like. Um, you guys will have access to the advanced search. I'm a travel ambassador, so I have access to the advanced search, and I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. But you want to just go ahead and put your information in there, um, the Caribbean, St. Lucia, whatever months are available. And whatever months are available will highlight. If the months are not available, it won't be highlighted. So based on the region, it will change down here. They'll let you know up until how far out they have availability um, for you, okay? So then with the vacation, with the advance, um, there's also a 24-hour hold um, that you hold if you found a property, let's say in St. Lucia, you saw a property that you know your clients will really enjoy, but you're not quite sure, um, you can place it on hold for them for a 24-hour hold, and um, 
think that great for your clients. So I think that's a great tool um, that you guys can use. So the advanced search that you guys will have access to um, is this is pretty much what the advanced search will look like. It will break it down more detailed for you, but you can go in and actually put the calendar and the date of when your clients are traveling, and you can select if they want one week or two weeks. Uh, and all, and then all, of course you can do a quick resort sort search by just typing the resort uh, name in, or if you have an ID, uh, you put it in. We usually go by a resort name, so it's easier if you just type the resort name in there and hit search, and it will be yield all of the results for you. So I put in Europe and I put in Visa because it's a party island and everyone wants to go to Ibiza. Ibiza. So I, I saw that it yields some properties in Ibiza that you can go rent um, for you and your gang, hang out and have a blast um, for the weekend. It's a party island. All you, go, all you do there is party. So maybe you guys want to party one day. You just go into your, actually your, your vacation rental uh, back office and book it. Okay? Very simple and um, your commissions are going to be tied in there as well. So just be mindful of that. Another way of getting your commissions up. Did you know, when it comes to travel insurance, did you know that 94% of all policies sold in the U.S. are for travel insurance? Did you know that? However, only about 30% of travelers purchase travel protection. Do you know why? Because travel agents are not promoting travel insurance. We are not educating our clients and letting them know how important and how valuable their packages are and how they can protect themselves from natural things that can happen and they may lose all their money. We have to educate our clients, guys. Travel insurance on average represents about 5% of the total trip cost. 5%. 5%. Educate your clients, guys, okay? These are great tips to educate your clients on. That's why I list them. One out of six Americans have, have their trips canceled or trips derailed by illness or other natural disasters. And it could be protected if they have travel insurance. They're canceled for no reason. Um, there's medical conditions, medical reasons why. If you have medical conditions, if you have, um, maybe it's your job and you can't seem to get the time off, travel insurance will protect it. But if you don't purchase it, then you can't cover it yourself, okay? Or you, you can't educate your clients on covering it. So definitely go into Travel Insured and get a quote. They're in our back office. Again, 20% commissions, guys, okay? You can increase your commissions uh, in a package, in a cruise package or a land package or whatever package just by adding the travel insurance to it. Okay, so this is the form I was mentioning, I was talking to you guys about. Um, this form, um, just shrink this. This form, it, this is the form. It's, it's very important. There are three questions in the bottom that I think you guys should definitely look at for new agents who may not be very familiar with what the conversation may be like with your clients. This form will really help you to formulate that conversation if you just take some time to go over the form and see what they're asking, the information they're asking for on the form. Then when you're on the phone with your clients, or maybe you're sitting across the table with your clients, if you have this form in your hands or on your screen, and you can ask certain questions that you may know. You'll find out about their air preferences, their food preferences, hotel and resort, vacation, car rental, packages, and other information. Other information is very important. What hotels have you stayed in and enjoyed? Very important. You don't want to send your clients to a hotel they've already stayed in or send them a quote after you spend like 15, 20 minutes or 30 minutes or maybe an hour searching for the ideal hotel for your clients, come to find out they've already stayed there twice waste of your time. So instead, you want to find out all the places that your, your clients have stayed before so that you don't send them there again. It gives them a totally new experience, right? You open up their minds even more. and open up their, their experience thing to an even bigger, greater level because now you're sharing something that they've never even knew existed maybe and you're inviting them to take a look and experience it. What cruise lines and resorts have you enjoyed before, if any? You want to know if your clients have been on a cruise, if they are avid cruisers, if they have cruised before, what cruise lines have they experienced. You don't want to send them back on those. You want to check them off and bring some other ones out so that you can experience whenever there's a hot eater or a special, you send it to them because it's not the cruise lines that they've experienced before, right? 
What activities do they enjoy when traveling? Sightseeing, history, arts and culture, sports and activities, wine and culinary shopping, beach and sun. You want to know the purpose of the trip and what your clients like the most so that you can align them up. Again, the activities tab that I just shared with you, while they're on their vacation, you can find activities in that tab. In addition to the, co the commissions you're getting for this package, you're now adding activities to get more commissions. You're, you're filling your clients up with all these awesome experiences they'll never forget, and you're getting paid for each one of them. That's the way you do it, guys. The computer doesn't want to move. Some more questions to ask the purpose of the trip. How many people per room? This is very important because, especially with cruising, if you have two people, they set the cabin up for two. If you have three people, they, there's a different category for three. Some, not all cabins can fit two. Not all cabins are designed for two. So a different category will give you three people or four people. Same thing with land. If you are at a property, a resort, maybe there are bungalows. You want to make sure that the bungalow that you have can fit four people. Or you want to make sure it's not too big and it's nice and cozy for two people. So you want to make sure you, you ask your clients how many people per room so that that room can be prepared for the number of people that are going to be staying in that room. How many children, um, how many children and seniors or special needs uh, are traveling? You want to make sure that you notify the supplier so that they can contact the hotel and make the, 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 the arrangements to accommodate your clients. If, it's wheel, if they're wheelchair accessible, you want to make sure that you find a property, a resort that has wheelchair access so that your clients won't be inconvenienced. You don't want to book your clients in a hotel or a resort that's a five-star fancy hotel right up their alley, but it's not accommodating them in their situation. Absolutely not. They will never book with you again. So these are great, great questions to ask the clients um, so that you can have an idea of what their travel preferences are. And this form, guys, this form, this form, this form, under you, this form will protect you guys, okay? We are independent travel agents. And so this form protects when it comes to the errors and emissions insurance that each of these travel has, it protects us in case anything happens with our clients, trip. But certain documentation has to be in place. And if something happens to your client's trip and you never completed a credit card authorization form and IntelliTravel is doing an investigation or whatever the case may be and they ask you to provide all the documents for the form for the trip and you don't have one, then that's a problem. That can kind of jeopardize you. So you don't want that. It also protects you. If your client, uh, you send your client this form and they decline the travel insurance on there and then they go on their trip and something happens and they're like, well, I... I said I wanted travel insurance and you never gave me any travel insurance, but I told you I did. Well, you can pull the form out and you can clearly see where they said that they declined travel insurance. It protected you, right? People, clients will find someone to blame and most of the time, the travel agent will always be the one to blame. So protect yourself, okay? Every time you collect a credit card information from your customers, to pay for travel or other services, you have to make sure that you get this, this, this form signed. Failing to secure authorization in this way could result in a chargeback of credit card funds by your customer for which you'll be responsible for. Because a lot of times, based on the cancellation policy for the supplier, you'll have to pay for that. So reserves the right to collect any such chargeback and associated penalties and costs from you including offsetting any amounts you owe from commissions or other payments due to you from IntelliTravel. So you can lose your commissions as well, guys. So make, and this is how I use this form. So I'm working with my client, <clears throat> excuse me, and they're really excited because I got this awesome trip for them, and I gave them their quotes. I said, you know, the high, the high, medium, and the low, and they chose their preference, and they said, yes, Marcy, yes, this is it. We're super excited. We can't wait. And I'm like, yes, I'm super excited for you. Let's lock it in before the rates change. I'm going to send you this form really quick. The only way that I can secure this package for you guys in these rates is if you guys fill this form out right away and send it back to me. Give them information to charge your car to secure your package. Never had a problem. Never had anyone object. 
but this one lady that told me, put it in the mail. I don't do emails and I don't do all that social media stuff. Put it in the mail. And I'm like, mail, 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 you'll never get it. She had a neighbor, so I got the neighbor's email address and I sent it to the neighbor and the neighbor printed it up for her so she didn't even have to do sale mail. But that's the only time that I've ever had anyone object to putting this form out. When you're dealing with travelers, guys, they will do what they have to do to get those rates locked in. So no one will reject the card. It's all about how we as agents present it to them, right? So just a tip for you there. Marketing and sales tools. I want to show you guys what we can actually have access to. This is another form of marketing and sales tools. I didn't put my phone on private. Sorry, guys. Um, this is another form of marketing and sales tools that you can use. This is Royal Caribbean, and this is Funjet. Um, as you can see, I was able to go down here and put my, my business name and my contact information and my email address for Royal Caribbean, and I can put it out there, send in an email, or post it on social media to your, to your, to your friends. Um, and then, of course, this one is Funjet as well for groups. You can put your information in there, send it out to your groups. If you have a lot of people who are doing groups, send it to your group leaders, let them know that you can cater to their groups. Um, you'll be able to get them a customizable link if it goes your way, which this is what that is. Um, and it'll be fun for them. But you have to put this product up there, guys. They're not going to know that you have access to this unless you bring it to their attention. So it's up to us to get it done. So this is the form, another form that um, Inside Travel provides for us. This is the third out of the three that I shared with you guys. Um, so with travel insurance, what, how, what I do is whenever I create a quote, I always make sure that I create a, a travel insurance quote as well, and I send it to my clients, letting them know that I highly recommend that they get their package covered, especially if they're spending over $1,000. I always make sure that I sell travel insurance to my clients because I know they work hard for their money. If something happens, I want to be able to help them protect as much of it as I possibly can. I want them always working with me. I want them to know that I'll go to lengths for them and I'll educate them on the best way to get the most for their money. So I always put a quote in my packages for my clients and I let them tell me that they don't want it. Let them decline it, right? When they say, well, Marcy, you know what? At this time, I don't think I'm going to, I'm just going to pass on that. Not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and send the form. Please complete it and make sure that you complete it and sign it, saying that you're, you're declining the protection. When I send it out, I put their package. I put how much the travel insurance costs, and I let them sign it right there. I let them read all of this. I let them read this little paragraph right here. And this is like a little psychological thing that what happens is, hmm, why does she need for me to sign the form? It must be very important. Hmm. I need to take a look at this form. Maybe I should just decline the insurance because if it wasn't important, she wouldn't want me to sign it. All these little things, it's just an act, guys. It's an act. And then, before you know it, I never received the form back and said, don't worry, go ahead and send me the quote. Uh, it makes sense to just cover it. 20% commission increase right there. So, utilize the form, guys. And just to make sure that you're using the right industry codes, guys, all of us have this email. I blanked out our information, our CLIA number, and all of that to protect it. But um, make sure that you're using the correct info, um, booking industry codes, the correct IATA and ARC, the correct CLIA, the um, correct agency phone number and address. Uh, make sure that you are identifying yourself as an independent travel agent when you come to travel, when you pass the flyers, okay? And then ask if they accept our agency identifiers. Ask if the bookings are commissionable. These are questions you must ask before you complete the booking. Do not hang up. If you're on the phone with a supplier, do not hang up until they have received your IATA number. If you've never offered it to them or you've never offered the agency identifiers, identifying and teletravel as your host agency, do not hang up because when you hang up, guys, that is the end of that. You cannot call back and say, I just put all this only two seconds. Can't. So you want to make sure that you cover all of these things in the conversation before you hang up, okay? And then, of course, um, another feature that Intel Travel has is the Event 365, which, guys, I think is so awesome because this is like, just like ticket masters. Like, instead of sending your clients ticket masters, send them to Event 365, that way you get commissions for it. But these are everyday tickets that they can purchase 
uh, on a daily basis. And what I love about Event 365 is that we have our own, excuse me, we have our own replicated email um, link so that we can send it to our um, friends and family or put it on social media and have them order. When they go order the tickets, uh, we, we will be able to get the commission, right? So this is a great tool. And then, of course, we have golden tickets as well. Oh, sorry, I'm not finished yet. Um, there's an agent personal website I shared that with you guys, so you guys can go into your back office and get registered with um, Event 365 so that you can have your personalized link and you can share it with social media and your email campaigns and all of that good stuff. You can even put it in your newsletter probably, let your clients know that you do have tickets as well, for tickets, not just air and hotel and all and cruises. Uh, it's a great way to share the products that you have as well. And then we do have golden tickets, of course. A golden ticket is more for premium seats, guys. Okay? This is not, I don't recommend you sell golden tickets for everyday um, tickets. I, that will be for events 365. Golden tickets would be more for the Olympics and the um, Super Bowl and uh, those special events, those special premium seats and certain clientele as well. There are certain clients that I will never recommend to three events three six five. I would definitely go with golden tickets because the premium seats is what they will pay for. And remember we get ten percent commission on the tickets. So the more premium the seats are, the higher our ten percent commissions are. So just know your products, know what you have and then know what clients you have your elite clients, you definitely want to recommend golden tickets to your elite clients because they will buy those hard to get seats. Uh, it will. They will buy those hard to get seats. So you want to definitely utilize that. There's actually a webinar for golden tickets today. Was it today? Yeah, it was, there was a webinar at 9 o'clock tonight. A little lot of them right before this training um, on golden tickets. So go back to the um, IntelliSelf tutorial and you can pull the, the old webinars and take a look at them. And for our air consolidator. So for our new agents as well, um, I mentioned to you a book of air in our back office. And the air that we book in our back office now, in the industry of travel, domestic air, there is no commission tied in. No travel agent gets paid on domestic air. However, in travel have a $10 fee they charge, and you receive 70 or 80%, depending on your cut, if you're a travel um, genius or not, you will receive 70% or 80%, which means you'll receive $7 or $8 on the $10 that they charge in addition to the ticket. So this is a great way for you to get paid on domestic air by booking in your Intel Travel Back office. It's $10 per passenger. So every passenger you will receive 7 or $8 per passenger. If you go outside of Intel Travel, you will not get paid commissions at all for any of your domestic air. However, we do have air consolidators. Skybird, Fearbus, Centrap, Go Away Air are some of the few um, air consolidators that we have that you can you will be able to book air with and there is a markup section that you can actually get paid commissions for these. I would recommend more international traveling um, with them, especially Go Away Air and Skybird. Um, Centrap and Fairbus, you know, you can do all domestic, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's more economical, it's better for your clients to get better deals for your clients. It's not always all about making those commissions on bookings. You want to make sure that you sell value to your clients uh, and provide for them what they want. And then naturally, you're going to get paid commissions because there's a, a component, there's a commission tied into every component of travel. So you're going to get your commissions, but you want to make sure that you find a supplier that's going to be suitable for your client's package, right? But we do have options. So take some time to get registered with them. Uh, Fairbus, you have to contact Intel Travel to be registered with them. But all the rest of them, you can register independently on your own. Okay? So now we're going to go a little bit into, I don't know if I have the time. Actually, I don't have the time. We're, I'm going to continue this training um, next week. Uh, I apologize, but we're running out of time. It's actually one hour, and that's a new segment. It's all about um, increasing your commissions. We're really going to go into that next week. I really guys want you guys want to help you guys strategize on <clears throat> booking. Right now is a great time, guys, to get into suppliers, especially the cruise lines, and check out those itineraries. Put some groups together. Get those supplies. Get them locked in. 
and secure your commissions for next year. The year is almost done. You're going to get the last minute deals, last minute Christmas deals. Whatever is left right now is what we can sell. But I highly recommend for you to select, you know, go ahead and lock in your next year's commission by going after those itineraries now while they're still available. And next week, we're going to talk about that. So if you guys do that this week, and by next week, we'll get into the next part of the training, and then you'll be able to really understand what I'm explaining to you because you have your groups or your pursuing clients for booking for next year, okay? It's very important that we go ahead and project and set our schedules and set our goals for next year right now, okay? So I'm going to stop this the training right now. I, I thank you guys for um, coming on. Let me go ahead and put it up, open it up for any questions that you guys may have. Questions, guys? Any questions? Oh, I see questions. Questions, yeah? No? Maybe so? Hi, Rob. How are you? Oh, can you hear Rob, me? Rob, you have a question? I uh, can hear you. Huh? Oh, okay. Um... Well, it's not really a question, but um, uh, it is. But uh, I just, uh, as far as uh, the new agents that we have, um, I wasn't able to gather the inf information so I could send it out to some of my new people so they can get on. Is there a way that you can uh, send that back out through GroupMe or something so people know about your training on Thursday night? Absolutely, absolutely. It's in our it's in our team group me and I also sent a text out. Um, I will be happy to send you the information, Rob, so that you can invite your team members to get on. Not a problem, brother man. I appreciate it. And you've done no an excellent problem. job. Thank you, I appreciate you. Appreciate you guys coming on and I hope that this it, it is informative for you guys. Um I do it. Oh, oh one more a, a question just popped up. You were talking about golden tickets, but you, you popped something else up that said 365. What, what was that? Events 365, and that is in our back office um, for tickets. Okay. And that's in our back tickets. office? Yeah. NFL tickets, um, uh, NBA tickets, MLB tickets, concert tickets. Uh, they're all there. They're more, I can compare, I would compare them more to Ticketmaster, um, and Golden Tickets is more for the premium seats, so the hard-to-get seats, the sold-out events where no one can get tickets. You go to Golden Tickets and you'll find tickets there, right? Okay, but so... Events 365 for the everyday orders for tickets. Okay, so basically what you're saying is, uh, and I, I guess the gist of what I was hearing was that uh, for those individuals that want to go to the games on a week-to-week -week basis or a day-to-day -day basis, send them to that website. But for those that want the real premium seats where they want to sit up front, where they want to be able to do all this, you send those individuals to, to, that, to that website. Yeah. Okay. And one last uh, question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so when we go in the back office, do we? How do we register? Because I I just got off the the webinar with um, Golden Tickets, which was great. But I guess my question is, how do we three six five? Do we just go through until travel, or is it instructions? I'm just I'm sorry about that. No, um, when you when you go into into our travel, when you log into your back office in our travel, you will see um, you will see the, the three six five event three six five. You will see it there. You'll see, okay. Um, this, uh, you'll see this. You'll see the um, partner announcement. It's going to be a new partner. You'll see the matter of fact. They sent an email. If you go into your email, you'll mm -hmm. see an email from Tower Travel. And they will have um, they will have that they will have it there showing you um, to register with, with Big Five. Okay. Um, 
I, I appreciate that, and I guess I don't want to be taking up all your time, but uh, I did get an email, <clears throat> I think we all did, uh, about Clear. Now, they had like four events that we could register for. And I saw something on October 13th, which I was thinking about regi registering for. If I register for that, is that like one of those events that will go towards uh, me going, moving up in the level of, in, a, in the back office? Yes, if you apply for a CLIA event, that will go towards the five CLIA courses that you have to have completed in order to become a dream maker. You'll be, you'll have one of those completed. When you go on a fam trip and you do, like if you go to CLIA 365 and you do the ship inspection, those will go towards your uh, accreditation for travel vacation builder and travel agent. Okay. Yeah, because I'm towards that, um, um, the builder part, and so I guess I was trying to figure out which um, one I needed to go to so I can complete that, but I did see the, um, Clear had a class for one day Saturday up in Atlanta, I believe, for on on next yes, weekend. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Some of Clear's courses are also, you will have to pay. Not all of them are going to be free, so you have to be mindful of which one if you're going to pay for a clear course, I would recommend that you pay for one that is in alignment with your niche so that they can educate you in that path that you're going in, right? Okay. So if, if you're focusing on group cruises or whatever, then you want to take the courses that will help educate you on how to attract people, how to better have, you know, how to book better group cruises or something pertaining to your niche is what you would want to invest in if you do invest in any of those courses. Okay, okay. I really appreciate that, Marcia. You're doing an outstanding job. No problem. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any other questions? No other questions? Okay, well, if that's the case, we'll be wrapping it up. And again, next week I'll talk to you guys more. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys a tip. Now is a great time. You should have already done it. But if you haven't done it, it's never too late to go ahead and select some itineraries, some groups, some land packages, and some um, some cruise packages. Go ahead and check some itineraries out uh, and select them. Get your groups going and uh, lock in your commissions for next year, guys. Because we only have, what, less than three months before this year is over. So you want to go ahead and start locking in and securing your commissions for next year, right? And if you guys don't have any other questions, we'll be wrapping it up. Thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Again, we'll continue on with, you know, going more in-depth with the kind of questions that we ask and how do we qualify our clients for these cruises and these group cruises and there's big money. There's some work required guys and so we're going to go into it next week. Thank you guys for getting on and I hope you know, I've answered all of your questions. But you guys know how to reach me if you have any further questions. Okay? Thank you. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you guys next week.